to Saxcast. Sorry there wasn't one previous week. Um, life got in the way, I'm afraid, but I'm back. So uh, this week we're going to have a look at an Eric Darius riff. He is incredible and uh, there's a lot of really good content that he's got on his Instagram page and YouTube at the moment. And this little lick is from a tune that he's done called Work. It's not part of the melody and a lot of his playing is really, really tricky altissimo and fast tonguing funk. So this is a little bit more approachable, I'm hoping, for you guys. So I'll play it again for you. Hope you like it. So with this particular riff, we're going to cover uh, a glissando. So hopefully that will give you a couple of ideas if you're not doing this lick um, that you can use it in other parts of your playing. Uh, pentatonic wise we're looking at B minor so the notes we need will be hopefully you can work it out B D E F sharp A B <laughs> So if you work through those notes, that's going to give you kind of a, a head start. So have a practice at that, maybe pause the video and come back to it. And I'll play the lick again if you want to work it out just from uh, the notes that I've just given you as a sort of a parameter. So it goes like this. Okay, so let's have a look at our start note. It's this. Here's our pentatonic. So if we go kind of a note below, it's D. And then you can hear, hopefully, that octave leap I've talked about in previous videos. Um, and so we're just going D to D. So we're going to palm key D. And the idea here, if you've not done palm key notes for long, is kind of think of your hand as like as a Lego hand on a Lego figure, that kind of C shape. And we're just pivoting down with your wrist so not splaying off the fingers if you can. And to get that kind of glissando sound, it's a little bit Baker Street-esque, is we're just pulling off the fingers really quickly. And I'm not doing the pentatonic here, I'm just pulling my fingers off to get that blur sound. Personally putting in the F sharp in, just to kind of make it sound more G majory. So try that really slowly. Kind of still putting a C sharp in. Because otherwise it's going to slow you down. So have a go at doing that. So that's the first little kind of little chunk. And then after we're going to pivot to the, the note below. So again, if you work through your pentatonic notes, that's going to give you a C sharp. And down again. So D, D, C sharp, B. Hopefully you've got that. Play that little, uh, little chunk at home. And the next bit goes like this. So we can hear, hopefully, that it's significantly lower. And we've got this da 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 So a little two note riff repeated. Da 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 So here's the start note for that. See if you can find it. So it's part of our pentatonic notes again. So we've got E and the little bit goes. So we're gonna go E D E D E D E D twice. So try that. Good. So if we put that together, we've got and the last little bit. So for all of this, it's lower. So we're going to take our thumb, relax it. So we're not playing on the octave. Little tiny flick note we'll get to. So we're going to go B, A, going down, and then like a, a really short E to F sharp. So it's hardly even there. It's a, it's a grace note. So we just flick it off. So if you find it easy, you could just go straight to the F sharp. But stylistically, it's that little flick. So all the way through. 
okay? And that little chunk that Eric plays is sort of between a call and response with an incredible singer that he's working with. And um, for some of you that I've been teaching, I've been sort of saying about this not trepping on the, uh, the toes of your singer, and sometimes just playing little short riffs is much better than just noodling around and just having a little punchy riff works incredibly well. So on um, my jazz backing track, I've got a B minor uh, riff going around. for you work works the track's called work so good linkage there um looking for these little snippets is, is really quite a manageable thing to have a look at so because of the key it might be worth you having a look at this track uh work by eric darius and seeing whether or not there's any other bits you can pull out and work out for yourself now you've got this b minor pentatonic as a framework to work from so as ever guys thank you so much and uh, your comments uh, are really useful. Keep on commenting and like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Okay, happy saxing. Bye. <laughs>